Well, the snow is moving in tonight and more is on the way throughout the weekend. Yeah, let's get over to Bill now with a look at some of that uh, lake effect snow in the eight day forecast. Bill. Yeah, Brian, take a look behind me. This is East Grand Rapids and look at the snow on the football field. I'm going to scoot all the way out of the way so you can see that. Just to the right of the flag, there's a light there and you can see the snow kind of swirling around. About 10 minutes ago, you couldn't even see across the lake. The uh, snow has let up a little bit. And if you're in parts of Kent County and the Wago County especially, we're going to see about a couple of inches of snow accumulate here this evening into tomorrow as the system continues to bring cold air down and our precipitation changes over more to snow than rain. Here's what we're tracking for you. Rain and snow showers expected here overnight tonight. Mostly wet roads expected here this evening throughout the area, though I can't rule out a slippery spot. And some more snow coming our way Saturday night and Sunday. That could be one to three inches uh, pretty much across the entire area. But again, especially on the grassy areas with the ground being fairly warm. Uh, here's a look at Storm Track Live. Again, you can see some blue and some green and some purple. We got a little mix of precipitation going on. But if you get in a heavier batch of snow there, the snow could start to accumulate a little bit. And take a look at this all the way back toward Minnesota and Iowa, some scattered snow showers. So this same system that's uh, bringing us the rain and snow is going to be hanging around here for much of the weekend. Uh, some driving tips for you. Bridges and overpasses freeze first. The cold air can get underneath them there. So you might be going along at 70 miles an hour on a wet road. And and all of a sudden, it gets pretty icy as you hit a bridge, so beware of that. Slow down then. Icy spots are more likely Saturday night and on Sunday. And watch for heavier snow showers. If it really starts coming down, it'll be accumulating faster than it can melt. So you really want to be aware of the fact that uh, you want to slow down then. Football weather. We got MSU and Maryland. Uh, there could be a light rain or snow shower during the game. Uh, much of the game probably won't be doing much of anything but sprinkles or flurries. It's going to be chilly, 35 in the morning, up to 40 at game time. By the way, the Michigan game at noon and the Notre Dame game in the evening are both on WOTV4, so you can check that out. Snowfall totals here tonight and tomorrow, uh, about two inches of possibility here, uh, right along 131. The snow will be heavier along 131 than it will be to the east, farther away from the lake or right at the lake where more of the precipitation will be in the form of rain. Here's our future cast. Uh, rain and snow showers should be mostly light here overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. We're above freezing tomorrow. Then watch that big area of blue from Wisconsin come all the way across the area. This is the snow for Saturday night and Sunday. It's not just lake effect. This is a general snow from a system coming through. That will likely bring us some more significant snow as well. And uh, take a look at the cold air off to the west of us. We're only in the upper 20s to low 30s, so it's certainly going to be staying chilly around here. Close tonight down in the low to mid 30s. We'll see high temperatures tomorrow in the low to mid 40s. Winds back up around 14 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon, so it will be a rather breezy day. So here's a look at your forecast. A chilly 43 tomorrow and just 38 on Sunday. A uh, mix of some light rain and snow, mostly light rain and snow showers here tomorrow. Snow for Saturday night and Sunday could produce some icy spots on the roads, but temperatures do warm up. By the middle of next week, we're back in the 50s, so any snow we get over the weekend will be melting. Probably no tracking snow for the start of deer season here on Monday.